What's up everyone? I'm Kyle from Driving and Vibing and you're watching Road Gear Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about an app to help you find free and legal camping, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're putting out new videos every week about some of the best road gear. Today is no exception. We're going to be talking about the US Public Lands app today. Now this is an app that costs $2.99 and it's created by fellow full-time RVers Chris and Cherie of Technomadia. Now they do a lot of RV park camping and mix in boondocking camping in there. So after eight to, I think they've been on the road for 12 years now. So after all that time, they really found it important to create this app to help campers know what land they're on. So in the past, we've talked about Campendium and free campsites. Both of those resources are amazing for finding free camping. Now, with those sites, you'll be pointed exactly to the camp spot. You'll see the GPS, you'll see reviews. It is a great resource, but with that, whenever we find sites on there, whenever we show up to the site, Oftentimes there are other campers there and sometimes it is even very crowded. So because of those sources being so used, these campsites can be, you know, overflowing with people. The one thing that I really like about this US public lands app is it doesn't show you any campsites, but it lets you know what type of land you're on. So for instance, if you are on a back road in um, you know, Utah, you could easily be, be on multiple types of government land, but this app will let you know specifically if that land allows camping in undeveloped areas. So let me pull up this app and show you what we're looking at because it is pretty easy to use. Once you pull up the main screen, you'll see a map of America with different color overlays on it. All these colors represent different types of land. So U.S. public lands maps out BLM land, U.S. Forest Service land, National Park Service land, National Monuments, Corps of Engineer, Fish and Wildlife, and a few other ones. So it really uh, has a very broad spectrum of the type of land that it shows you. You have to be adventurous also to use this app and to find free camping with it because like I said, there are no campsites on this app. But if you want to go camping and you know that you're gonna be on BLM or National Forest Land, this will allow you to take some backcountry roads and make sure you're setting up legally on that BLM land or on that Forest Service land rather than someone's um, property, private property, because quite often they these type of lands are intertwined with each other and they don't have very um, visual borders when you're out there on those roads. So many times in our past, we could have really used this type of information. But before I jump into a specific story that I have, let me show you that you can view this on a standard uh, map of America that you're used to seeing on just the main like Google Maps screen. You can uh, also look at it on a satellite imagery and then they have a very basic um, map of the US where it's just white with these color overlays. So whatever your preference is for viewing, you know, it gives you that option. Now, as far as our experience with this, whenever we were camping in the Bridger Teton National Forest right across from the Grand Teton National Park, we were scouting these back roads and we set up at this spot that looked like someone had camped there before and uh, we got all set up. It was a beautiful spot overlooking the mountains but right around sunset we had a ranger come up to our site and let us know that we were actually on National Park Service land. So here is a, a picture of the land we were on, of the map we were on, and you can see how this border is so insanely geometric. Obviously it's not going along with the road that we were on. So all we had to do was move literally 200 feet down the road to be on the National Forest land. But at the time we did not have this app, so so I can see how in situations like this, the app could be totally useful because we weren't going off any specific GPS that was from Campendium or free campsites. We were simply on what we thought was a national forest road that actually weaved in and out of national forest and national park land. So this US public lands app uh, can be a huge benefit if you are really into finding your own spot where no one else will be but also having the peace of mind that you're on land that's legal to camp at and that no one will come and tell you to move. 
So I would say check it out. It's $2.99. Again, if you're into this type of camping and you want to be very um, explorative and find your own spots, the $2.99 is well worth it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Let us know what apps you use to find your free camping. And uh, I guess hit that subscribe button. And you know, as always, we'll see you all next week. Later on.